Hi YouTube, I'm Aaron from Azalea Studios. In this video I'm going to be showing you a technique I use sometimes to write melodies. So first of all I'm going to create a MIDI clip. Uh, it's on PC, Control, Shift and M after selecting the area. Within this MIDI clip I'm going to start off by creating a chord structure. Uh, I'm going to be using the key of F sharp minor, which is F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E. Uh, so we're going to start off with F sharp minor. Down to E. Down to Down to D. Think we'll try B. I'm going to go back to the E. And then within this same MIDI clip, I'm going to create notes just above it um, using notes from these chords. So for, for the first one, we've got F sharp, A, and C sharp. So I'm going to choose... I'm going to, I, Try not to use the root note, not to start off with anyway, um, just because I think it blends a bit, blends into the chord a bit too much. So I'm going to start off with A, and I'm going to copy this over like so. Just, just to begin with, just and we're going to change this in a minute, get a different melody going. Um, it doesn't have to be the same rhythm. And copy this over to each one. I'm going to shift these. So let's go for G sharp on this one. Um, let's try F sharp and let's try B. So so really basic at the moment, but we're going to change that up now. And we can just just start by moving notes about. Um, I'm going to keep the first one as an A. Uh, so I'm going to keep the first two A. I'm going to change the third. I'm going to bump that up to, let's try B. Now, C sharp. First two.
So already just after changing notes, using pretty much what we've got, well, using the scale of F sharp minor, we've um, got a, a, a nice little melody coming along. I like to try and keep the notes at the end, at the end, at the end of the phrase, just below the starting notes when it comes back around so it sort of resolves. Um, it, it does work if it's above, but I always feel like it sounds nicer coming in from below. Um, if I change this to the back to the B... See, I didn't think that really came in nicely back round to the air. Um, with it, with the G sharp, it's just below, so it sort of steps up back into the start of the phrase. And uh, from here, it's because um, it is quite basic at the moment, but. Try, I'll shift this onto this melody track I've got um, and get rid of the chords. In this I've got a silent, just, just to give you a bit more of an idea of what it sounds like without a piano tone. And from there, you can add all sorts of extras in like uh, maybe the semitone the sorry the octave down um in between the notes so C sharp I'll keep that on the ear G sharp And again, I'm just going to copy these over. Down to the F sharp. That gives it a nice bit of movement after switching the portamento on. Thanks for watching.